In this video, we will show you how to work with GAT tools, so you can include the match categories in your jobs and invoices. For this, we will create a job for our client Microsoft. It's a contract, a translation from English into French, for next Friday. We don't enter the number of words just yet, because we have to define match categories. To manually define match categories, because you can also define match categories automatically, but we will see that in a moment, we have to click in the job on Edit Matches. The drop-down menu is empty because it's the first time we define matches, but we can use the plus button to easily add matches. Let's say we have fuzzy matches, 250 words, perfect matches, 180 words, and no match, 3200 words. And here are all our matches for the job. You can edit them if you need to, and you click on Done when you're done. In the job, there is already an estimate because we already defined a rate for this service and the system automatically applied this full rate for every match category. Of course, if you already defined specific rates for each match category, the estimate is calculated directly with the correct amounts. So we click on the estimate. And we then define the rates for every match category we created. 14 cents for no match. 9 cents for fuzzies and 5 cents for perfect matches. You now see that the estimate has been updated and of course the system also updated these rates at the client level. Now, as we said, you can also automatically import matches from a CAT tool analysis file. For that, you first have to create a CAT tool configuration in your settings under CAT tool configurations. Let's call it Trados. It's a configuration for SDL Trados, obviously, and the conversion factor is 1, which means that 1 unit in SDL Trados equals 1 unit in LSP Expert. This may be different if you work with lines or characters in LSP Expert, for example, but usually it's words. Then you have to add your own match categories and define which SDL Trados categories they include. It may seem complicated, but it really isn't. Our first match category, if you remember, is perfect matches. So we will define that this category includes the perfect matches, in context exact matches, Exact matches and repeated matches in the SDL Trados analysis. Let's then add our second category, fuzzy matches, that will include all the fuzzies and the cross file repetitions. And our last category, no match, includes all the new words. We click on Done and we have our CAT tool configuration. Let's now create a new job to automatically import our matches using our new CAT tool configuration. It's a newsletter for Microsoft, a translation from English to French for today. We click on Edit, but this time we click on Matches with the CAT tool analysis. We browse to find our file and we import it. We then select the CAT tool configuration, in this case our Trados configuration, and the system tells us how many words we have for each category. We validate and we see our matches in the job that have been added automatically. And you see that the total is the same for the two jobs, so the job for which we added the matches manually and the job for which we added the matches automatically. Let's now invoice our last job, the newsletter, so you see how the matches are displayed in the invoice. We select the job in the list and click on Invoice Selected Jobs under the arrow button. In the invoice, the matches are displayed like this, with the unit cost 
and the quantity. But you can also choose not to display them if you don't want your client to know your internal business, for example. For that, just click on the minus next to the job. The system will then recalculate the number of words based on the full rate. For example, 100 words at 5 cents equal 50 words at 10 cents. You can also choose not to display the matches in your invoices as a default option in the settings. And one last thing for matches. When you create a service for a client, you can choose to import a service from another client so that you don't have to re-enter all the match categories and their prices. All you have to do is click on Import Services when you are in the Services tab of the client in question. The system asks you the client you want to import a service from and the service or services you want to import. You can then edit the details of the service. And that's it for matches.